السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today I'll tell you a story about how shaitan trapped a pious person Abu al-Faraj ibn al-Jawzi has related a unique story from al-Hassan al-Basri The story shows the ability of a human in overpowering shaitan if he is sincere to Allah in his religion and it shows how shaitan can take advantage of the human when he astrays. Al-Hassan al-Basri narrated that there was a tree that was worshipped instead of Allah. One man decided to chop down the tree. He was a pious man. He was going to chop down the tree out of anger for the sake of Allah. On the way to the tree, he met Iblis who was in the form of a man. Iblis asked him, What do you plan on doing? The man answered, I am going to chop down that tree that is worshipped instead of Allah. Shaitan said, If you do not worship it, why should it harm you if others do so? The man replied, No, I'll chop it down because none other than Allah has the right to be worshipped. Shaitan then told him, Would you like something better than that? Do not cut it and I'll get two dinars every morning under your pillow. Then the man asked from curiosity, From where will I get that? Then Shaitan told him, I'll give it to you. The man returned the next morning. He found two dinars under his pillow. The following morning, he again found two dinars under his pillow. On the following morning, he did not find anything. He got upset and went to chop down the tree. Shaitan again appeared to him in the shape of the same man. Shaitan asked him, What do you want to do? The man answered, I plan on cutting down that tree that is worshipped instead of Allah. Iblis said, You have lied. There is no way you will be able to do it. The man left to chop it down. The earth swallowed him and choked him until it almost kill, killed him. Iblis asked, Do you know why, who am I? I am Shaitan. I met you for the first time when you were angry for the sake of Allah and I had no power over you. I deceived you by two dinars and you stopped what you have intended to do for the sake of Allah. Now you have come because you are angry about the two dinars and I have gotten mastery over you. Today, you can't do anything to that tree. So, my friends, do not fall into the trap of shaitan. Do good deeds, always remember Allah and do lots of 